I'm Daniil and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, uh, guidance, advice, and I spoke in a previous uh, video about how children uh, learn uh, oftentimes by observation. Um, parents can sometimes lead a good example or an adverse example by how they act. And I was reminded uh, of um, the verse in uh, Genesis, uh, chapter 5, verse 1. Ze Sefer told us Adam. This is the account of the descendants and generations of Adam. Literally, this is the book of the generations of uh, Adam. And um, the observation is sometimes made that a family is like a book. The parents are the cover, the children are the pages. If the uh, cover is one way, the pages follow. If the, the cover is another way, the pages will often go uh, another way. Parents, descendants, they're all bound in uh, a single book, a single volume. Uh, we're all one book. Um, it's inseparable. So if the children act inappropriately, it behooves the parents to be uh, introspective uh, because these kids didn't grow up in a vacuum. We, uh, we have to look at, uh, at what's influencing them, including ourselves. Uh, this doesn't mean every situation is the same. Uh, we, we all, anyone with the kids knows that it isn't. External environment absolutely plays a crucial role in the development of a child. Uh, their friends, their school, their, their neighborhood. Um, but if the child is behaving in a way that is not uh, becoming or befitting for uh, a religious person, a Torah Jew, a Noahide, we can... Uh, We can uh, look to ourselves to see what are we teaching. Um, for example, if, a, if the parent, look to the parent. Is the parent acting in such a way that the child is picking up bad habits? If the parent is acting inappropriately, is it being reflected uh, in the child? A lot of times when uh, um, parents see any slight change in the uh, child's behavior. See, see the child is uh, perhaps uh, responding to uh, bad friends, a bad environment, a bad peer group, uh, any, uh, whether at school, at play. A parent should act uh, decisively. Uh, nip it in the bud. Uh, don't wait for tragedy to occur. Um, if you care about your children's education, uh, don't just leave it to the school. Try to instill proper values uh, in the children. Uh, don't leave it to uh, the neighborhood kids to teach your, uh, to teach your kid uh, what's going on. Don't leave it to the street. Uh, that's something the child should be learning at home, either directly or by observing the parents. Um, a lot of parents, uh, if they see uh, uh, the child uh, in a bad environment, a bad neighborhood, for example, it's just not appropriate in certain circumstances, the parents will leave. They'll move. This is not a place for my kids. Uh, living, for example, in, a, in, a, in the inner part of a city, fine for when you're single, probably okay for when uh, you're newly married. Once your kids um, start appearing, once they're in the, the, um, the picture, you realize, you know what? This is not a place where I want to raise my children. You move, you leave, you take the children out, out of the environment because this is going to affect um, their lives. You have to be vigilant, ceaseless vigilance, um, especially for the influence of the, what's better known as the street. Um, Sometimes we don't realize the effect of the environment. And I'm also talking, talking about a cultural environment. Um, uh, 
television, that sort of thing, movies. Uh, we don't realize that, uh, the effect that it has uh, on our children and, and us uh, until it's too late. Uh, we have to always be looking out. It is our responsibility as parents um, to instill the proper values in our children, to raise them up to be proper religious kids with a good, uh, a good view, a uh, good attitude of uh, God and what God expects us to be. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding uh, some inspiration in these videos. And until next time, on behalf of the Immortal Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.